Hello Adelaide United fans, Jared here. Uh, sorry I was away last week. Um, as you would have heard, thanks to Jake Barkadash and Fabio Ferreira, I had some work done. Uh, Ashley and Martin, thanks very much for the help there. Now, uh, I am joined with goal scoring extravaganza, legendary goal freak, Osama Malik. Ozzy, how are you, man? I'm very good, thank you. Uh, thanks for joining me here on the pitch now. About three people watched Jake Barkadash last week do his version. He was sitting on the wrong side of the couch, wasn't wearing any club t-shirt and asked some pretty bad questions. But don't worry about that, Jake. You focus on getting back on the pitch, mate. You focus on that. Um, welcome. This is a really nice casual chat. Oh, this cushion's annoying me. Um, <laughs> It's a really nice casual chat to talk about uh, the team, the game, and also you as a player and a person. So I appreciate your time. Let's get straight down to business. Your very first A-League goal, is this correct? This is correct, yes. Wow, a, a great timing as well. Fantastic goal. I want to ask a question about this goal you scored against Perth Glory on the weekend. What's that? If you think back to every amazing goal scored in the history of football. You look at some fantastic celebrations, like Gareth Bale does the love heart. Last year, Dario Vitisic has a, a crucifix or a cross on his finger and he kisses it. Now, kissing your finger, yeah. a lot of married men kiss their wedding ring finger. What you did was the same yeah. thing. Well, what's the deal, Ozzy? I was, I was actually hoping you didn't see that. Yeah, well, I saw yeah, it. Yeah, you saw that? <laughs> what happened with the celebration? Because um, you're not married. Okay, well, basically, if I ever score a training, which is not very often, I would just give it the, the kiss as a bit of a joke. Yeah. And unfortunately, I didn't know what to do when I scored, so I, I gave it the kiss and gave it up to the, put it up to the heavens. But that's one sure of those why. things, yeah, isn't I'm not sure it, man? Why. You have so much build up and hype where I'm sure you I had so many thought. ideas, yeah. and then I got to the game and, yeah. I screwed up. That's what I'm like screwed with up. the missus mate in the bedroom. So you have all this planning and then it's just a real disappointment. Okay, what's going on with the team at the moment? Before we find out a little bit more about you, uh, I think it's five points out of a possible 18. We've had some, some close games, uh, especially here at home, but it doesn't get any easier. We've got Melbourne victory this weekend, away again to the heart, and then uh, Brisbane Raw here. These are really important games. I'm trying not to state the obvious, but it's time to get some points. Yeah, well, as you said, they're, they're important games. Games, but we played some tough uh, opponents already, and to be honest, we've been in in every game we played in, and we probably had had chances to to win most of these games. So we're we're not sort of worried at this stage. We, we there's a long season ahead, and, and we're playing well. We're just at the moment we're just not quite getting those results, but we know that they'll come. Is it, uh, I want to talk about you as a player. You played for the youth league side here in Adelaide, then you went and spent some time uh, at the North Queensland. Uh, yeah. For you as a player, when you set your goals as a footballer, do you go, all right, I'm happy to play anywhere, or is something like Adelaide really important to you to stay here as long as you can? Well, I was actually really lucky because the first year that I was eligible to play youth team, there was actually the youth team actually came in, so I was very fortunate to be able to get that opportunity, and that allowed me to, to go up to North Queensland Fury, but at the time, it was basically about playing first-team football, which is what I really wanted to do. So I left to go there for, for that main reason, but when the opportunity came to come back to Adelaide, I, I jumped at the opportunity. That's the club I, I followed as a, as a junior, always watching Adelaide City and something I, I really enjoy doing. Uh, on the weekend against Perth, you got to experience a, another marquee signing in uh, William Gallus coming in here. And mm. Everybody gets excited in, anticip in anticipation to see these blokes. And you've got Del Piero, you've got Emil Heskey. You know, Harry Kiel's not playing for the heart at the moment. But when you're on the pitch at the time and you see these big guys come on, are you a little bit starstruck to, to experience him? I know at the last home game when um, Emil Heskey came on, he's a big unit. He's, I he's didn't realise how massive he yeah. was. So he's to experience beast. that. Yeah, no, certainly. Look, I had a, a bit of experience at the start because Robbie Fowler was playing yeah. on that Fury. So to, to rock up the training with him every day, that was pretty amazing. So you sort of get used to, to playing with, against these guys and you don't want to sort of look up to them too much. Otherwise, you might get a little bit starstruck and might go into your shell a little bit. Do you find it uh, an advantage that already this season you've played Western Sydney, in Sydney, uh, you've played against Central Coast, you've played against Victory already, and now leading up to this really important stage where you've yeah. got the Victory heart and then um, Brisbane over here, you're, you're playing the top sides in the league away yeah. from home, and now what we learned as a side uh, against a Victory, you're taking away for this weekend to go, no, nah, we're going to learn from the mistakes that we did make and yeah, make the rest yeah. of more opportunities. Yeah, certainly. Look, it's a, it's a small league. There's only 10 teams, so... You're sort of backing up pretty quickly and you get to know sides know pretty well and 
we know victory strengths and they're they're a good team. But last time we played them in the first half, we I thought we played really well and we probably should have gone on with it in the second half, but we. A little bit of a gasket, so hopefully we don't do that this week. All right, now, uh, Sam and Malik, what we do is we throw out to our social media some questions people want to know. You're not on Twitter, are you? I'm not. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, boring. That's okay. Um, so these are from uh, the Adelaide United Facebook and Twitter pages. Our question, what European team would you like to play for? Uh, Arsenal. Arsenal, okay. Um, did the fro actually help guide the ball into the net? <laughs> um, Good question. I had, it, I had it tied back, so luckily it wasn't in my eyes, so... Yeah, I can say it gave me a bit of power. What's going on with John McCain's hair? Because he's got a double pony side, yeah. one at the top, one at the back. Yeah, and then Nigel Bogard was growing his hair, and it was in between the bowl cut and the long hair yeah. stage, and then he cut it. Bogey, he did want to, he did want to grow it, but uh, I think he got to a stage where it was, he wasn't really feeling it, and yeah. probably a good decision. It's a really good decision, yeah. actually. <laughs> um, do you need to style your hair, or is it just like that? Seriously, this is coming from social media. Yeah, yeah. there seems to be a lot of interest about. It. Um, I know. Nah, this is, I just came out of the shower just then. It was in the face, so I got the glasses up and shit out of the face, yeah. so yeah. All right, here's another hair question. Is it David Luiz for Fellaini, who's at Man United, or you? I'm not sure what that means, but who has the best hairstyle? Uh, definitely not me. I'd have to say Luis. All right. Well, Aussie, good luck this weekend. Melbourne victory, then Melbourne heart, then Brisbane, and then it doesn't get any easier. Look, Melbourne heart are sitting at the bottom of the table at the moment, and they're looking for a win. So good luck. Thanks for joining us here. Have you enjoyed this experience on the pitch? I've loved it. I've loved it. Is that sarcasm? No, nah, no, that's honest. See, there's heaps of love. <laughs> All right, don't forget to share this video on Facebook, Twitter. We'll have another special guest next week. It's not going to be Jake Barkadesh because he is not allowed back here on the couch, which is really disappointing. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen this, mate, but we have to hug now. Let's do it. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah! All right, go the Reds. Check them out at Cooper Stadium in a few weeks' time against Brisbane Raw. This has been The Pitch. I am going to take this wig off because I've got an itchy bald head. <laughs>